Hello and welcome back to another beer review. I'm Ben the Beer Lad and today I'm going to be doing a, another sort of birthday drink. Not on special but something I picked up from Priest Town and it kind of looked quite cool. Never had this brewer before. This, at least I don't think I've had these before. At least not on um, the channel. I'm sure I've had them maybe outside but this is Sure Shot and this is Welcome to the Hot Fudge Car Wash. And this is a Cacao Imperial Stout at 10.5%. And, I mean, look at that, can art. This is collaboration with um, Keys, I think it is. I don't know, you know. Yeah. Keys, Bubbleman Stout, I don't know. Never had this one. Um, never had of either. Um, that one. I know Sure Shot, but hey-ho. Uh, but that's that one. It's quite a funky can art, that, innit? Um... Like I say, Imperial Stout. Um, it's a vegan friendly beer, I believe. It's just got a V. So I don't know if that's vegan or vegetarian. Um, yeah, that's about it. There's a bit of guff that says Imperial Stout brewed with the Dutch Dark Beer Masters. Um, brewer. I, I don't know. It's some another. It's a word I can't pronounce. Um, a thick dog stout steeped with chocolatey cacao nibs. Head down for some Sunday suds, Keys Bubbleman style. And then there's that that word that I don't know how to pronounce. But then the rest, that's the rest of the buff. Um, it's proper 60s style, that isn't it? Like it's an advert for a 60s car wash. It looks quite cool. I like the can art. Um, like I said, I don't think I've had Sure Shot on the channel before, but. I guess I'll have to look up in a bit and find out. Um, but yeah, that's everything for the can. Um, let's crack it open and see what we got, shall we? Let that settle, but we have a jet black beer with a tan compact head. Um, I don't know if you can see that. It's got like two different colours. Quite, it's lighter up here, then it gets darker down there. Uh, no floaters. Looks very, very nice. Looks chocolatey. Looks um, tanned and stouty. Let's get a smell. See what we get, shall we? So at the minute, not standing out, it's Imperial Stout smell. Roasted malt, a bit of booze. A bit of chocolate, not really stands out on the smell. Yeah, just smells like a standard Imperial Stout to be fair. Um, a little bit of chocolate, roasted malts, and a bit of booze. Not really out of the ordinary. Uh, well, not out of the ordinary, but nothing that stands out. So, yeah, it's a mouthful for Bodding Cup. <sighs> Carbs really light. Um, But one time I did a review right today, and the sun's come out and it's now in my eyes. The rest of the day's been murky and cloudy and miserable. Anyway, um, carbs dead light, body was about a medium to full body. I'm going to have to get close, I would say closer, but it doesn't, doesn't work. I'm trying to balance the light out, it's not working. Um, yeah, body's medium to full. Um, it's quite velvety, quite smooth. Carbs quite light. Um, so far, so good. Let's get a big old taste, shall we? Cheers. Wow. Oh, I don't know if I like that one or not. It's very, very. I know it is an imperial stout, but it's very imperial stouty. God, that's something. There we go. Um, it's very, very imperial stouty. It's very, very bitter. Very rich. Um, the cacao is is dark chocolate, so it's got that extra bitter, rich flavour. So you've already got that in the imperial stout. Then you've got that in the chocolate. You've got roasted malts, you've got 
dark chocolate. You know, there's a hint of vanilla, but it's not really to, out, to balance out the uh, bitter, um, bitter, rich roasted flavors. It's coffee in there as well, but again, it's just it's bringing it to this really, really bitter, roasted, rich flavor, which is nice in some beers, but it needs, I think personally, it needs to be balanced out with a sweetness. Um, and this doesn't have that balance and sweetness. It's very, pardon me, very rich, very rich, very bitter. There's no, no sweetness in that at all. Booze, you get 10.5, it's there, but it's here, it's in the stomach, it's not in the mouth. You get a little bit of the back of the cheeks, back of the throat sort of thing, but it really sits, sits in the stomach. Um, not comfortably either. It's, it's, mm. I've got a feeling some people are going to like this one, others just won't. Um, if you like a sweet stout, this is not for you. If your preferred stout and imperial stouts are sweet and chocolatey and vanillas and sugars and caramels and toffees, this is not your kind of stout. If you like rich, bitter, dark, roasted stouts, this one is going to be for you. For me, not really for me. I'm going to drink it either way. I don't remember how much I paid for it, but I'm going to drink it either way. But it is dark and it is rich and it's bitter. And that 10.5 sits in the stomach, so it's this is a slow, slow drinker. This, this is such a sipper. Um, yeah, this is not what I thought it was going to be. I knew it was going to be chocolatey, but I was expecting at least a bit of milk chocolate to sort of balance out the, you know, balance out the Imperial Stout that I was expecting. But there isn't any, it's just Imperial Stout. So, yeah, this one, not for me. You can see the appeal to some people, but for me, it's, it's just not, not a... Not for me. So, I think with that, I'm going to go away. I'm going to finish this because I'm not letting that go to waste. It's 10.5. It's an Imperial Stout. They need to be sipped and savoured anyway. So, I'm going to do that. And it's not really going to get to me as much as it would do normally. But, I don't really think I'm going to enjoy it too much. So, um, Sure Shots. Welcome to the Hot Fudge Car Wash. A Cacao Imperial Stout. Out of 10. I personally am going to give that... A six, I think it's a flavour. If there's a sweetness in there to balance out the bitterness and the dark roasted flavours, I think that'd be fine. The flavour that's in there is good, um, but I, oh, that one is just bitching. Um, but yeah, if there was a sweetness in there to balance it out, I think it'd be a good beer because um, you'd at least have that sweet kick to take away from the bitterness and just add a bit more depth to it but it's very very one-sided that's all it is so for me i'm not really a big fan um maybe i could do i could do a third maybe but 440 uh, for me that's a bit much um so anyway it's getting a six out of ten so if you have had this before please let me know let me know what you think if you like if you don't if you've not had it i'll leave a link to sure shots website down below I'll try and find this Keys Brewery, but I'm not sure what they are, who they are, where they're from. So you have to bear with if I don't find it. Um, but if I do, give them a check out, why not? Um, if you like the video though, thumbs up, thumbs down, all that usual stuff. If you want to subscribe, consider doing so, because the show must go on, etc, etc, so on and so forth. And I'll see you later. Bye.